We got here two legends from G2. Uh, of course, Luka Perkovic Perks, four times European champion consecutive. And Andre Gomez, investor in G2, partner of mine. Fantastic guys. And uh, yeah, I th well, we thought it was a good idea that they catch up and they kind of ask each other questions uh, because I know Andre would like to know a lot about Luca and vice versa. So please go ahead. So it's my first time with you, the the big boss, <laughs> the captain. Um, tell me, tell me things about uh, the team. Uh, how do you talk with with them? How your expectations for for the next year? Well, this is my first time actually to have like a new roster on me. Uh, we've changed some players before, like here and there. But uh, this time around, like everyone left me. Yeah. So um, I was left to like revamp the whole roster. And I'm pretty happy with what I got now. Um, I've spoken to players myself to make sure that they have the same ambitions and goals as I do. And uh, I think we got uh, like very good players in each role. So, I'm personally very excited for the next year and just looking forward to how far we can get with this team because we got really far with the last iteration of the team. So I'm pretty sure we can go as far, if not even further, with this team. So yeah. You know, pe people uh, uh, talk a lot about um, kind of the mechanical skill of the previous team and so on. How do you think people is, you know, how wrong people do you think they are in terms of? you know, how good the players that are in the team are, and so on. Of course, uh, uh, someone that is fan of G2 is just extremely blindly saying that we have a much better team right now, uh, but haters are at the very opposite. What would you say to those that actually don't believe in it? I think the last, like, the last team was we were more of like a hard workers. They were like, uh, we were good players, all of us, and we were just working really, really hard as a team. And we were mostly just imp working on improving as a team. And I think this time around is going to be very much the same. I think we might even get like a better start because everyone is like super highly trained compared to the last team. We'll actually be, it'll be easy to improve as a team if everyone is committed and sacrifices his own ego or play to get better as a team. So yeah, it's going to be a nice journey again. Uh, listen, it's, it's, it's not easy uh, to change. Um, uh, normally, you, you need like uh, some time to adapt to the new team uh, with new team teammates. But actually, um, it's uh, a good jump for them. Uh, I think that um, they want to be successful as he is. So. Uh, the good thing is they, they, they work a lot, they are improving their skills, so you just need to give some time and, and after that I think everything will, will go like expected. You have haters, it's, it's normal, everybody has, but the good thing is um, to show them that they are wrong and I'm totally confident that the team will, will do the best and prove it that they are wrong. You've been always uh, kind of one of the faces of G2, if not the face of G2. Um, so from your point of view, this is the first time that you have this kind of situation in which, um, you know, the previous year we had Mitty, which was extremely experienced and he was um, kind of, um, you know, in those moments that were really hard, uh, he, he was trying to, you know, lead the team and you did your part as well, but now, uh, you know, you have the most amount of experience and how do you see yourself kind of leading the team? How do you see yourself, you know, motivating the team when things go wrong and things of that nature? Because in a, in a way, this is probably one of the first times you are in this position, right? Which I mean, this is the first time I'm in this position even though I'm not like, it's not, ever, it's not everything is on me, even though of I feel like it is maybe, but uh, I have a player's a lot of experience on other roles too. and. It's just the last two years were very occupied for me. I was yeah. barely home, like for two months in two years. So it was like a long journey because we've been at every single event and we've placed pretty highly a lot of events, minus roads. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think that I learned a lot from Mitty. Like he has definitely taught me a lot uh, with, with him and the rest of my teammates. Um, it's been like a huge jump from 2006 and 2017. 
And now after this year of everything that we've experienced and like successes and failures, uh, it's all again gonna be a huge jump. I'm really sure I got a lot of um, a lot of skills from this year, I like outside of the game as a teammate that I could improve on and that I can use for next year to to like make myself and my team more comfortable around each other and just be a better team. Yeah. You know, even if he's not as a captain itself, as a leader itself, you look at when you go when you went to Barcelona, right? Um, you were just playing all of a sudden with uh, Leo Messi, with Neymar, with uh, Iniesta, and of course Iniesta may be the captain, right? But at the end of the day, Leo Messi, Neymar as well hold a lot of kind of strength in the team. And how do you think the role is? How do you think his role uh, should be in order to uh, have the most amount of success? What would you tell him? What would you recommend that he does so that he focuses on? As a captain, you, you just need to say the right word at the right moment. And sometimes that change all the mentality uh, in your game. So I think it will not be easy for him because he's like um, alone with, with, uh, with that. But he's capable for that. Everybody uh, has saw what he, he can do with the team. So let's let's give him the confidence and of course, I mean, to, he, you know, to, he, to enjoy it we're we talking just about, about kind of extremes right all yeah. so these people are really good or these people of course are, we, are, we are talking balanced. about the history exactly. on the team exactly. and, and all of that Leo, Leo Messi of course doesn't come up with the strategies with the tactics with things like of that course. Leo Messi just no. you know carries he just goes in takes the ball uh, and and just does magic right so with this you probably don't need to come up with strategies or incredible picks and bounds, but that's not your job, right? It's not your job either to make sure that everything is clean and everyone happy, perhaps. Yeah, but I guess you no, no. just no. have to carry. No, it. yeah, I yeah. Guess you can say I'm like a messy then. You have to exactly, <laughs> yeah. like a messy. No, it's like everybody knows what type of skills uh, he has uh, on the game. So sometimes, as a captain, you can just show them the way, like doing uh, something brilliant, yeah. uh, and even without that, you just can say like two or three words to your, to your teammates and they will see the light. So a captain is like that kind of person who, who is in the, the best moment, at the right moment with the, the right uh, word or the right skill, as you say about, about Messi. It's, it's like that. So uh, it's a responsibility, but it's a good one. Everybody needs time to adapt at, uh, at the team, uh, at the language. Uh, so, um, in, our, in our club, we all speak Spanish. So, you need to uh, for communication, also with the coach. So, it's, it's very important to, to be able to accept uh, something different. And also, you need to, to be smart to and to you, catch. you see a lot of progress when everyone kind of, kind of, of course. speaks very well Spanish. Of course, of course. You are like in the same line. Uh, you understand uh, everything, the system, uh, tactical things, uh, also technical things, how you, you, you play. So it's, it's very important the language uh, and how, how fast do you adapt. Right. So look at you, you know, with We've gotten last year uh, three can expect. Oh, you know, this is the three can expect. Of course, uh, they're great players, great people. But when it comes on to English, it was always a bit of a of an issue because when when you know deep um, issues appeared, it was really hard to fix, right? How do you think that will uh, that will? Oh, yeah, the fact that everyone in the team right now speaks pretty good English uh, will impact the team. Well, I think like as league grows on and grows on. Uh, it's like everything else, communication and teamwork is the most important strategy, theory crafting together, working on problems, etc. etc. Um, we've come onto the problems, like you said, it was like hard to I guess uh, fix or find the route because we couldn't really like talk about it in depth. It was mostly like just solving problems as we find them. And uh, that is something I'm looking to change for the next year. Uh, we are look, I'm going to have like more open seeking problems and solutions instead of just like keeping them digged inside. And 
as much as like we've we, like we've been, been like pretty good, we, like with Trick and Dan. Uh, I think like Trick and me just had like some kind of synergy from the first time we yeah. played because uh, we were just a little better than everyone else at the time, and we were not like always a little better than everyone else. But at the times when it was needed the most, we would always find a way to actually be better than everyone else. So with my new jungler with Jankos, I'm gonna be looking to be the absolute best at every point of the time. I don't want there to be a time where I feel like we are worse than someone else and that we are underperforming. And as time goes on, like you learn that consistency is the key. It's not about being as flexible. One time right, yeah. but yeah, being all the time right. It's, totally it's totally not about agree. like hitting yeah. one ball and missing 100. <laughs> yeah. it's more like about, That's a good analogy. It's yeah. more like, yeah. like uh, testing to your teammates, being like there in the right time and yeah, so just gonna look for consistency. Very good. Yeah. Well, you guys, thanks a lot, uh, Andrea, for coming here to the gaming house. Uh, My sure pleasure. You impacted uh, all of us. Uh, you know, enough, enough motivation. For <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope to see you soon uh, as well here. And to you, just keep rocking. You're a fucking legend. And uh, let's make 2018 our bitch. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see videos like this one from different games even, please subscribe. We love you.